Hello and welcome everyone to the In Focus series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pragya. In today's interesting episode of In Focus, we are going to study about a very significant and important phenomenon. The title of our today's discussion is El Nino and breaking of heat records in the year 2024. So, in this discussion, we are firstly going to study about this phenomenon known as the El Nino. Then we are also going to understand the phenomenon of Enso, also known as the El Nino Southern Oscillation. El Nino Southern Oscillation. Then we are also going to understand the impact of El Nino on rising temperatures. Then we are going to see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination. about the background of our today's topic, a recent study has been published in the journal Scientific Report. Scientific Report. And this study highlights that the Bay of Bengal, the Bay of Bengal, the Philippines, And the Caribbean Sea are going to experience record breaking rise in the average air temperatures till the month 2024, June 2024. So, basically, the El Nino is set to break all of the heat records in the year 2024 from Amazon to Alaska. So, this brings us to the important point of our today's discussion that what do we understand by this phenomenon of El Nino? So, if I talk about this phenomenon El Nino, it is also known as the child Christ because it occurs around Christmas in December. And in Spanish, it is also known as the little boy. And it was first observed by the Peruvian fishermen. Okay. So, if I talk about this phenomenon, El Nino, it is the abnormal warming of surface waters in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean and particularly of the coast of South America. And this phenomenon occurs irregularly. However, it occurs more frequently than the cooler La Nina phase. Every 2 to 7 years and can have significant impacts on weather patterns across the globe. And El Nino is also the warmer phase of Enso. Warmer phase of and so, or El Nino Southern Oscillation phenomenon. Moving forward, El Nino can cause a variety of weather anomalies in different regions. And if you talk about the impact of El Nino on India, then it decreases the monsoon in India. So, there is a decrease of about 70 percent in the southwestern monsoon in India if you talk about if that is a El Nino year. So, basically it, respons it is responsible for decreasing the monsoon in India. It weakens the southwestern monsoon because it weakens the easterly winds which are responsible for bringing the rain bearing crowds towards India. So, that is why it causes an adverse impact on the Indian monsoon. Moving forward, the heat released to the atmosphere from the western Pacific Ocean during an El Nino causes an accelerated rise in annual global mean surface temperatures and that is why El Nino is also associated 
फॉर राइज इन ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो करेंटली बींग ट्रिगर्ड बाई दी वॉस इम्पैक्ट ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज and that is why year by year we are experiencing this record breaking rise in the average temperatures or the average heat temperatures okay this slight increase has been strongly linked to the significant increases in the surface air temperatures during extreme regional heating events and this phenomenon of el nino began in the year 2023 after a three long run of la nina the cooler phase of the recurring enso phenomenon okay and we have discussed the uh, reasons behind 2023 being the warmest year ever recorded on earth in our environment primer series and you can watch the video to know more moving forward here are some key interesting facts about el nino so basically el nino that occurred between 1982 to the year 1983 and 1997 to 1998 were amongst the most disastrous events of the 20th century and definitely we can see the history is repeating itself again because 2023 was the warmest year recorded on the earth and if you talk about january 24 2024 it has also been the warmest january since a long time so yes we can say that the history is repeating itself and el nino is certainly causing this global warming so during the 1997 1998 event drought conditions rose in malaysia indonesia and the philippines california and peru experienced heavy rainfalls and flooding and in the year 1982 to 1983 event the surface level temperature in the sea was between 9 to 18 degree fahrenheit which was above normal so same similar conditions you can expect in a el nino year this year also that yes june 2000 till june 2024 we are going to experience an immense increased amount of heat moving forward this is the pictorial representation of the el nino phenomenon so basically you can see that this is a normal uh, year and the equatorial winds are moving towards the west that is towards the australian coast okay so and this peru peru area has a cooler current and that is why there are cold water among the south american coast but if you talk about an el nino year the easterly winds become weaken and the warmer water starts to move towards the south american coast displacing the colder peru current and that is why the phenomenon reverses itself and that is why i said that yes it weakens the easterly winds and that is why it has a huge impact on the indian monsoon because is these easterly winds are uh responsible for bringing the rain bearing crowds to india moving forward let us talk about the el nino southern oscillation phenomenon that is the broader phenomenon and el nino is the warmer phase of this phenomenon so basically enso or the el nino southern oscillation is a climatic phenomenon characterized by the period fluctuation of sea salt this temperatures and atmospheric pressure in the equatorial pacific ocean it plays a significant role in influencing weather patterns and climate variability around the world moving forward you see that there is this pacific ocean okay and there is this indian ocean pacific ocean and there is this indian ocean so this pacific ocean is responsible for high pressure zones and this indian ocean has this low pressure zone but sometimes what happens there is a reversal of this trend a high pressure zone forms over the indian ocean and a low pressure zone forms over the pacific ocean and this is known as the Southern oscillation. Okay, so 
so the shifts in pressure conditions occurring in the pacific and indian oceans are intertwined with the el nino phenomenon and this interconnected phenomenon is termed as the el nino southern oscillation in very simple terms and this enso has three phases so the warmer phase is known as the el nino phase the cooler phase is known as the la nina phase and then there is the third phase known as the neutral phase so basically broadly it has three phases the el nino phase the la nina phase and a neutral phase moving forward let us analyze the impact of el nino on the temperature so under a moderate el nino scenario the bay of bengal and the philippines could experience record breaking average surface air temperatures between july 2023 and june 2024 and we have already discussed that yes 2023 was the warmest year recorded on earth if we consider the base years okay under a strong el nino these regions along with the caribbean sea south china sea and area of the amazon and alaska were likely to face record breaking average surface air temperatures and that is why in the beginning i said that yes el nino this year is going to smash all of the heat records from amazon to alaska moving forward the researchers projected that there was a 90% chance that the global mean temperature would break the historical record so beware we are going to face a very extreme heat wave kind of situation in the year 2024 january has been warmer and till the difficult months of may june and april are ongoing okay so there will be an increase in the heat waves wildfires and definitely the tropical cyclones are also going to increase and all of these are interconnected with the el nino phenomenon so definitely we are going to experience a very hot summer this year in the year 2024 Under the moderate El Nino scenario, the 2023-24 global mean average temp temperature is estimated to be 1.03 to 1.10 degrees Celsius above the benchmark of the base year of 1951 to the 1980 mean. Under the strong El Nino scenario, it is projected to be 1.06 to 1.20 degrees Celsius above that mean. and the, there is a likelihood that the el nino phenomenon this year will be strong and definitely we need to increase our as efforts towards the impacts of mitigating the impacts of climate change because climate change is adding the fuel in the el nino phenomenon it is adding an fuel of when el nino waves will cause the global warming so it is adding acting as a fuel to all of these natural phenomenon which we are already experiencing and this is the pictorial representation for the prediction of for 2024 under a moderate el nino scenario so see there there are going to be heatings there are going to be rise in the temperatures but just imagine if there is a strong el nino scenario just see that the red in part indicates the global warming So yes we are going to face a very hot summer this year and thanks to the el nino phenomenon and the climate change which is adding up to the global warming okay so with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion we have discussed the el nino phenomenon we have seen that how is it adding to the global warming then we have also talked about the enso we have also seen the impact of el nino on the Uh, temperature that yes it is causing a huge rise in the temperature now let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination so the question is with reference to the el nino consider the following statements your statement number 1 is in the case of india el nino is associated with a strong monsoon circulation 
योर स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू इज ला नीना ब्रिंग्स गुड रेनफॉल ड्यूरिंग द मॉनसून सीजन योर स्टेटमेंट नंबर थ्री इज एल नीनो एसेंचुएट द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग फेनोम इन एंड कंट्रीब्यूट टू क्लाइमेट चेंज हाउ मेनी ऑफ द अब स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट योर ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन इज वन ओनली ऑप्शन बी इज टू ओनली ऑप्शन बी इज टू एंड थ्री ओनली एंड ऑप्शन डी इज वन टू एंड थ्री एंड दिस आंसर विल बी गिवेन बाय यू टू मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स बिलो ना लेट इज डिस्कस अ प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर योर मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन सो द क्वेश्चन इज डिस्कस द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ एल नीनो इन कॉजिंग ग्लोबल वार्मिंग सो फर्स्टली विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फेनोम इन नोन एज एल नीनो यू विल से डेट ये इट इज द वॉर्मर फेज ऑफ एनसो एंड इट कॉजेज अन यूजली वार्म टेम्परेचर एंड देन यू विल टॉक अबाउट एनसो एंड द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ एल नीनो ऑन दी temperatures that yes it is causing global warming by uh, increasing the heat waves by increasing the average global uh, sea temperature so you can discuss all of this and you can conclude holistically that yes we need to have a positive uh, you know sustainable development or positive efforts towards the mitigation of climate change because it is currently adding fuel to all of the uh, natural phenomenon and is causing the global warming okay so there is going to be a record breaking heat wave in the year 2024 and if we do not take uh, immediate actions then definitely year by year we will be seeing that the global warming is rising and we won't be able to comply with our ambitious dream of stopping the rise in average global temperature to 1.5 degree celsius as per the paris agreement I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting updates. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.